All right, welcome to the GT Retrofits uh, Blue Ghost Controller uh, setup tutorial. You're going to be given a Blue Ghost Controller that has a daytime running light wire a, and a two turn signal wires. You're going to use you're going to tap into the OEM uh, daytime running lights and turn signal wires to get those functions to trigger respectively. The show modes are going to be controlled solely from your phone. The controller has a power supply, if it's 5 volts, um, or it's going to connect directly to your battery um, with the same harness style if it's uh, 12 volts. Um, once you connect to the battery, you have 60 seconds to pair it within the Blue Ghost app. So, you're going to go ahead and connect it to power. So, right there, the turn signal functions and the daytime running light functions already had power, so I just turned those off. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the Blue Ghost app. It's already scanned, otherwise, you can press the scan there button. This one in particular has an update available. Let's do that. We're going to pause this and come right back. Oh, you will have to scan multiple times uh, and connecting. It says updating right here when you're updating, if you should run into this situation. So now I'm going to pause. All right, so we're connected now after the update. Um, I press skip on the pin because I'm not going to set a pin for this customer. Uh, if you would like to set a pin, that will prevent other people from being able to connect to your uh, Blue Ghost. Now, of course, they will have to do it within the 60 seconds of connecting to power. But uh, if you're a little safety conscious, the pin never hurt. Now, when you, you see all these show modes here, these are saved locally on my phone. You will be greeted with just a blank screen and this plus symbol. First thing to do to set up your ghost controller is you're going to change the R LED type to the GRBW sorting. This will not be used as is for the Blue Ghost Pro. And here is how we are going to set up the core functions of the Blue Ghost. Now you can, it's recommended to do this with either a show mode going or the turn signals going. We are going to do it with a show mode going. So for you, you would go add and popcorn isn't that great of a show mode for this. I would select kaleidoscope. But I already have it here. So, kaleidoscope is now going. Let me see if I can turn the brightness down. There we go. We can better now see the show modes. So, we're going to come over to here. And the left, in this case, the signals to the left headlight. So, by default it comes up to 30 uh, chips and I know the heart halo is, looks like it's going to need one more because there is a blank spot there. So we add one. Now right now it is set as a strip. You can see it going around in a circle. So let's, uh, we're going to just eliminate all these colors here just by going here and there. So, nope. Let's just, just get rid of that just for now. So it's a little less distracting. Okay, we're gonna go to the left now. So you can see it's going in a circle. We're gonna change it to a halo type. Now, it's starting on one corner, 
go into the next. But that's going to look weird in how our uh, headlight is set up. So what we're going to do is change the direction. And hopefully you can see that now it started over here. We brought it all the way over that way. It's a little too far for me. There we go. So it's about right there that it starts now. So far, so good. So let's add another section. Now we have strips that is going all the way to there. Let's add more, 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 more. Just till it reaches the corner. Oh, 49 is too much. Back to 48. So now we can see that it's not quite in sync. What we're going to do, we're going to take the offset here, and that's going to be zero for the strip. It was at 16 because it thinks half of the halo section and it's 16 before that. But it's trying its best, but not what we want. So what I want to do is we're going to use the yellow as our marker. So yellow sweeps all the way across. So we're going to take the offset and... Well, let's, let's do it slowly. Okay, yellow is still happening on the halo too soon. Getting better. Oh, a little too soon still. There we go. Now, the yellow matches on the top bar and on the halo. So, on these particular headlights, we have a choice to be made. Do we want this to come all the way around or do we want it to start again from the bottom and meet all up in the corner? If you want it to continue all the way around, you can simply add to the strip size. So we would go up, increase that. And so now the animation here goes all the way around and the heart joins it right here. These headlights in particular also have a strip in here and these start at the exact same time, uh, the upper strip and the uh, turn signal, signal location here. So if you prefer how this looks where it goes all the way around, that's fine. However, if you would like it to all come to a point here, what we're going to do is we're going to knock that down to 48 again, and we're going to add another strip. However, that's still going from the top down. So we're going to set the direction the opposite way. If you leave it in, leave it in the middle direction, it just kind of flashes as a solid co color. So we're going to move it over there. And you can see, actually we got kind of lucky here in that it is matching up there. The offset here in this case is set to 64, but we could change it and then it would look a little staggered. However you like to set it up, I'm going to move it back down to 64. So, there's that, there's show modes. Now, the Blue Ghost controller has a function called copy right here, where you can save all this, put it on the other side. However, unfortunately right now, uh, when is this? February, 2023, there is a little bug in that the turn signals do not work correctly if you do that. So, we have to manually put all the information over to the right side. So I'm going to pause the video, do that, and come back. Okay, so I've copied the settings for that from here. However, notice that the yellow animation starts on these two before it starts here. 
So let's do a little troubleshooting. I don't know the answers yet. So we're modifying the right headlight. The offset set to 16. Oh, and it was that easy. I was making the offset zero and I should have known that. But let's check one more thing here. It says a size of 30 for the bottom portion of the strip. If we get rid of some of these, you can see we're down to 24 and all of the LEDs are still there. Oh, there it is. It's looking at the wrong spot. 28, so 28. That means the top one should also be set 28 and I touch that direction there. So that is unfortunate. I believe that's set to 58. Okay, so we're going to copy the 28 over. And there, it wouldn't have been a big difference, but if you're setting it up, might as well do it right. Okay, so we stop touching that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to turn off the show modes. Daytime running light mode check. Okay, so that was a simple fade on, fade off. If we're going to go to the car setting down here, the parking lights, that was just the basic. Now, if we're going to go, let's say, the scan sweep startup. So if we do it, you can see it's really fast. Let's take that down a little bit. We're going to speed, we're going to slow it down, let's put the size up a bit. All right, so we can see here that the animation is not quite exactly smooth starting from one side and leading all the way to the other. So I'm gonna troubleshoot and see how we can fix that. It's going to have to do again with the offsets. But what it's doing is it thinks that portion is last. Really, we want it to be three quarters the way tied for first. So I'm going to pause it again and I'm going to come back with an answer. All right, we are back. I'm going to quickly go over what was changed in this. Here we have the, oh, let's do the animation first. You can see now that it scans and sweeps over the entire thing, meets at the corner and comes back. What we had to do is we made sure that the heart and, and this both are offset by the same amount from zero, which happens to be 28 pixels. Hence, 28 right there. This is a happy coincidence that this is also 28. So now that we have that set up, it meets nicely in the corner. Of course, you can adjust the speed of this. Oops, that's the turn signals. You can adjust the speed and the size. So let's do the exact opposite. This is going to be super fast. Like that. You can set it how you want. And one more, let's do Rainbow Road, which is also very popular. We're going to do large size, very slow. And when it turns off like that, and another example, um, small size, fast speed. We will leave it on scan sweep for right now, large size, slow speed, Just like that. These will be local to my phone. 
The only thing that will transfer over are going to be the setup like this. However, the point of this video is that should you lose this uh, settings, for some reason, you are able to work on it yourself and set it up. This will apply for any of the headlights we do, uh, Mazdas, Infinities. This is just an example video using these, which have the most thrown at it that everyone else will at least see a little bit of this type of setup. All right, lastly is going to be the turn signal. So right now, this is set up at a fairly good speed. The issue is all cars have different relays for the turn signals. So you will probably have to adjust the turn signal speed. This one here, the size is nice at 50%, but you can adjust it like that. That's the size of the amber itself. And if, but if the amber is too large, it may not be able to completely complete its animation. You will have to adjust the speed. So you can see here, doesn't have enough time to complete the animation. So if you have the speed, then it's good. If we reduce the size and it has more of a flowing motion. I want to say maybe closer to 50% would be better. Yeah, that's it in my, in my opinion, that looks good. However, we have multiple turn signals you can choose from. And again, if you chose the bounce, well, you might want to adjust the size of it again. Same with uh, sequence. This one is actually built to just turn completely off, wave on completely off. And then basic is just flashing. So that choice is completely yours. Let's turn it back to wave. There we go. One thing we can do right now, parking lights are white. If you want to drive around with green, which is illegal. Blue, also illegal. Red, also illegal. Cayenne, also illegal. Purple, still illegal. Uh, you can do that with this color wheel right here. We recommend leaving it on white. Turn signal. We can also adjust that. It could be whatever color you want, but if you don't want a ticket, definitely don't do flashing blue. Recommend waving it on a yellow or an orange setting. Brake signal, for the most part, is not used. If you would like to wire in a parking light functionality, you can add a wire into the controller and then you would just change the brake signal to white. And then you could just use that. However, we are not going to use that. Okay. For the show modes, add the plus. This one was set to popcorn, so I'm gonna do that. No, solid is not a very good example. Let's see, stacker. Right now, it's going to go through all of these colors one by one. Let's get a little more movement there, fellas. And there we go. We've increased the or in this case, it made the gap smaller between the blocks. Here we made it larger. Now it's smaller, so it's filling up. Now you can dim all of the colors here, or if you wanted to dim just the red, you can do that there. If you want to get rid of colors, Just go like that. And it's gonna repeat the same color over and over again. If we add another color, it's gonna go red, 
and green, just like that. Let's do red and then a very dim yellow, barely. Brighter. Oh. Anyways, that is how you create a show mode. There are plenty of options to go through. That is up to you. That is the biggest power of Blue Ghost. It's incredibly customizable. So, depending on how you adjust it, show modes will look different. So Orbit, if we put the size full, it's just gonna be like a solid color. However, if we reduce the size of the LED bar that's lighting up, you can see it goes from side to side. Let's slow it down a bit. Just like that, and a little bit faster. So, tons of options available, and you'll probably never use it. All of them because there are, I think, 26 of them or something. There's just a lot. Let's see, most popular is Kaleidoscope. Right now you can see it's really big. Let's make that a little smaller, there we go. And I'm a big fan of all these colors here. Well, just red doesn't really work. Let's add them all back, and that's the default. All right, hope that explains everything. Oh. Let's go back to setting up the LEDs. Right now, for the turn signal, they all flash, which is great. However, let's say we don't want the heart to flash. So we're gonna turn it off by pressing that button. Now it's going to stay on the daytime running light. If you go to the right one, turn it off there, it stays as a daytime running light. You can do vice versa also with the strips or any function. However, you could do it for even this amount right here. You would just have to add a section in here and play around with that. And it would be a lot of fun and a lot of work, so that is completely up to you. And these particular headlights, in case you were wondering, these are wired in parallel. So I can't edit this inner portion uh, separate from up here. If I wanted to, we could. We would just have to wire an input on this side, an output on that side, and then the output would have to loop back into the input for this strip here. It's doable, but in this case, as a cost-saving measure, we just did it as one complete section. All right, 23 minutes. I think that should answer most questions. Let's just do Daytime running light off, on. This will be your function as your hazards, sure. And this will disable as the the party mode. So if we were to go party mode, we disabled the party mode there. Let's throw it back on. There we go. I can't think of anything else. All right, good luck.